it's not only rotating, but it's wobbling. So, that's kind of what's happening. Okay, I'm dizzy. But yeah, that's kind of what's happening to the Earth. Yo, 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 makabayo, what's up, ketchup, and welcome to In I Thank You, our time in space to learn life lessons from lessons about life. Today, we are going to talk about our mother, Earth, her curves and edges, and the way she moves, and how every little thing she does is fantastic. So let's talk about the most obvious thing about the Earth, which is her shape. And it is a sphere. So the sphere is actually a shape that is very common in nature. The sun is a sphere, the planets are spheres. That's because gravity is exerted equally in all directions from the center of mass. And so the, the, the shape that you ultimately get is a sphere. And th the consequence of this is that you have that sphere and then there's the sun here. There will be certain points, of course, because it's a curved surface, that are closer to the sun. So that's why it's warmer at the equator and it's colder at the poles. Another consequence of having a sphere is that it's the only shape that you have where half will face the sun. That's why we have day and night. Daytime would be for the countries that are facing the sun, and then nighttime would be for the countries that are facing away from the sun. So it proves that the Earth is round. So you mga flat earthers, jan mo kayo makinig dun na. Please, now. Now the Earth, as we said, it's a sphere, but it's not a perfect sphere. So the circumference, if you measure around the equator or along the equator, would be wider than if you measured its circumference from pole to pole. Para siyang medyo napisa dun sa north and south poles. Ngayon, ang tanong, bakit? The Earth is rotating. It's spinning. It's spinning on an axis. If you spin a round thing really fast enough, it'll turn into a disk. And that's kind of why galaxies are disk-shaped because they've been spinning really fast. So it started out round as a clump of gas, but then because of the momentum and the continued spinning, it kind of flattened out like that. Now the Earth is spinning, which means that we get to experience both day and night. It's like, yay, daytime, nighttime, daytime, see? So that's the beauty of rotation. If the Earth were not spinning, just one half of the Earth would have daytime forever and the other half would have nighttime forever. The illusion of the rising and the falling sun is because of the Earth's rotation. We get our lovely Instagrammable sunrise and sunset pictures and that's because the Earth is rotating. Another consequence of the Earth's rotation is we have wind and surface currents in the ocean. Water and air, they're, they're pretty loose fluids, right? They're, they're not really like super fixed. So that means when the Earth rotates, sila parang medyo na iiwan. Yes, they do rotate with the Earth, but they sort of get, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait lang. Yung na, mas late silang umeeksena. That's why there's some sort of deflection of wind and water. And that's what we call the Coriolis effect in, in brief. Does the Earth rotate on a vertical axis? As in, ganyan ba tapos yung Earth ganyan umikot? Hindi po. The axis of the Earth is slightly tilted. And the tilt changes a few degrees from 23.5 or minsan nagiging 22 something or nagiging 24 something every 40,000 years or so. And not only that, the Earth is actually wobbling. The axis is not always facing that way. Sometimes it's facing that way. It's not only spinning, it's wobbling. I'm sorry, I just... I wish I had a better visual aid. 
Parang, di ba, pag nag, nag-spin ka ng trumpo, pag kayo malapit na siya malaglag, napapansin nyo yung hindi mong gumagan ganun na yung trumpo. The wobbling of the earth is what we call precession. We discuss the tilt, we discuss the precession. Another thing about the earth is it revolves around the sun in an orbit. So the earth's orbit around the sun is an ellipse, but it's not like a super oblong type of ellipse that you see on the pictures and the internet that's highly exaggerated. In fact, it almost looks like a circle if you look at it from really far away. So from a nearly circular path, it would change to a slightly more elliptical path, but also just slightly every 100,000 years or so. That means that there are certain points where the Earth is very far from the Sun. So the point where it's farthest from the Sun is called the aphelion. And then there will be points during the year where the Earth is very close to the Sun, which is what we call perihelion. Let's put these all together. The Earth's tilt, the Earth's wobble, and the Earth's orbit around the Sun will give rise to the variations in daytime and nighttime. This also gives rise to seasons as well as the contrast in seasons. So there are certain times when winters are really really cold and the summers are really really hot. All of this has to do with how much sunlight certain parts of the Earth are getting. It's because of the changes in the orbit, the tilt, and of course because of the wobbling. What do we notice from all of this? The Earth is an almost perfect sphere and it spins and it wobbles and it revolves around the Sun in an almost circular orbit. Bilog yung mundo. Bilog yung orbit. Bilog, bilog lahat at paikot-ikot lang. Parang buhay. If today you're at the darkest moment of your life, Someday, you're going to experience brighter days in the same way that may nighttime, tapos may daytime. Yayaman ka, ihirap ka, tataba ka, papayat ka, sasaya ka, malulungkot ka rin, mabubuhay ka, mamamatay ka rin. Paikot-ikot lang yan. It's a cycle. Our mother has a bright side and she also has a dark side. Masasabi mo ba na yung part lang ng earth na nakaharap sa sun yung earth? Hindi eh. Pati yung part ng earth na nakatalikod sa sun. That whole sphere has a bright side and a dark side. And honestly, that's quite profound because if you look up at the stars at night, you see distant twinkling lights. But if you look up at the sun so bright, you might end up losing your sight. No matter how dark your dark side is, there are still shimmers of light, these beautiful things that we would never have noticed if we did not embrace our deepest darkest selves. No matter how bright we seem to be, some people will still always find us glaring or imposing or just very toxic. We need a balance of both. We need to love our bright side and our dark sides too. So what lessons have you guys learned today? Iwan yung lang sa comments. Just put it all there. Bitin pa ba kayo? Want to know more about the earth? Go ahead and look at these other channels right here and here and here and here and here. Next episode, no next. Kita kits, mga bagits. Good night. Thank you.